Colin Baxter's time at Texas Tech is quickly coming to a close. He's set to graduate in the spring. This season of his life, the one as a Red Raider, has really been a tale of two halves. The first, not unlike the majority of his peers, and the second, without his eyesight. In the fall of 2016, I began student teaching through the Tech Teach program, and I was uh, teaching AP uh, U.S. History at Friendship High School. It was around that time Colin noticed something wasn't right. For instance, I would like look to my left, and then if I looked to my right, all I could still see what was on my left. It would take time for it to adjust. He went to the Student Wellness Center, then to University Medical Center. That's where doctors delivered the news Colin had a brain tumor. So the next day, they, uh, they stuck a tube out of the top of my head to drain cerebral spinal fluid because what was happening was a tumor had stopped the flow of it through my brain, and that was what was crushing my optic nerves. The following Monday, Colin underwent brain surgery to remove the tumor. It lasted more than 14 hours. And when he woke up two days later. Before brain surgery, they were like, you know, oh, when we get this out, you know, it'll relieve some of that pressure, you'll have your eyesight back, and you know, you'll be, you know, won't be fully sighted. You may have to wear glasses, but you'll have sight. But when I woke up on Wednesday, October 19th, I was completely blind, and I have been ever since then. Another surgery, four rounds of chemotherapy, and more than a month of radiation followed. Being blind never even crossed my mind. It was more of the fact that I had a tumor in my head, that I had cancer. And here I was, a 20-year-old, and I never expected to have that. So I never even really thought about being blind. It was more about, am I going to live? Am I going to see tomorrow? It was an unexpected visitor to his hospital bedside. Colin credits with improving his outlook. And a nurse came in and said, you know, there's, this, there's a man here who really wants to meet Colin. That man was Chris Beard, Texas Tech's men's basketball coach. The two formed a bond, one that would lead to Colin getting Chase, his seeing eye dog, and a volunteer position with Beard's team. Helping with the training staff, and I know it's not much, but it's something for me to do. I, I fold all the clean towels and I put together what they use to wrap their ankles with. They have like these pads, and but they have to put Vaseline in between the pads and all the manual labor, but it's something for me to do and I, don't know, I enjoy it. I consider four factors for saving my life. And the first one being the neurosurgeon that worked on my brain and you know dug around inside there for 14 and a half hours. But I always consider the second one to be Coach Beard because if he hadn't have came in and met me that day, I, not to any fault to anyone, on campus or to the school, but I feel like I probably would have fallen through the cracks. So much has changed for Colin in the two short years since that devastating diagnosis. But if you ask him, so much is still the same. He still likes Netflix, listening to Spotify and going to the movies. And he still has goals, like becoming that history teacher he was training to be before cancer. I graduated high school with 47 hours of dual credit. I was very headstrong about everything. I'm very adamant on what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be. And I, I felt like I always, I was always looking ahead, always looking a year or two or five ahead. Only now, he's in no hurry to get there. And, you know, when this happened to me, it really made everything stop suddenly and made me actually look around and enjoy today. Yeah, I'm, I'm blind now, but I don't see that as a curse. I'm not angry about it. For Texas Tech Today, I'm still me. I'm just a better me. I'm Allison Hirth.